These are the charts of the day. Spectacular day on Wall Street with indices spiking up and I don't know if they're in blow off mode, but they're certainly surging. And the S&P making new all time highs along with the Dow. The uh, NDX transportation, IWM, not quite yet, but we'll see what, if they get a follow through or not. Let's start off with AAOI, which we have quite a bit of, and that's the tech trader swing, which is moving and grooving. In the last, ooh, let's see, week and a half, it's gone from 1242 to uh, 1946, backed off to 1837 today, but still was up. Uh, and it's something that I want to focus on in terms of getting into the low 20s. ALAR popped out today. We put a swing on it. I like the way it's coming out of the falling channel. The volume picked up. Um, if we can get it up through 14 and a half, 16 and a quarter, it may even run further to 18 or 19. <clears throat> uh, CAPR, I think, is set up to go, and I mean big time. The move here, we saw it go from 5 to 23, now consolidating for a week. Might set up for a breakout and run it to the high 20s, low 30s. It could be spectacular. Keep an eye on it. CELH popped out. We put a swing on it and backed off yesterday. <clears throat> then reversed right back up today to finish not far from the breakout point, which would be 35.40. Our targets are 38 and 42 going forward. CSTL popped after a long base breakout and a nice platform formed. It broke out of this wedge or coil, whatever you want to call it. And is headed towards 38 and maybe 42. DJT has been spectacular for two weeks now, wrapping around from under 12 to over 30. <clears throat> Today's action on 62 million shares saw it go from tw under 24 to over 30 and a, nearly 30 and a half. Big day. <clears throat> Not sure how long it's going to uh, keep this up. It, it, OBV is going vertical, uh, but there should be a blow off coming pretty soon. We'll see. Next target mid 30s. Flex uh, put a swing on it. I love the story. I like the chart long term. It's coming through triple top here and looking for a move into the high 30s. HIMS popped an inverse head and shoulder type pattern. Declining top sign was taken out. It closed above that. I'm now looking for a move to 24 and a half. Red Cat popped a little bit, made a new multi year high. It's the highest level since mid 21, three year high, and then some. I'm now looking for an extension that takes this one to six and a half. Well, six is my next target. Sagamet, um, after breaking out, we put a swing on it and pulled back. and then came right back today with a big pop of 20%. Uh, 1.28 million traded. Not a lot, but it's thin stock. If it gets up to key resistance, which right now is around 550, your next target, you could reach that tomorrow. And then I'm looking for an $8, $9 stock. SMR in, in the nuclear energy field, utility, and a beautiful rising channel popped out across resistance today. My next target is 17 and then 20. SOFI certainly has come out of its long-term decline pattern and popped out to uh, make a run at 10 and a half, which could happen as early as tomorrow morning. And then we will probably make a run towards 12. Talk broke back out again today and then backed off, but I like this for a move back up to three, three and a half and four. TKNO exploded in July and then had a rising channel, but it then formed a coil holding the 50. Note how it popped yesterday and today had a follow through, getting up to resistance at um, about six and three quarters. Next target is eight. <clears throat> Upstart also broke out of a base pattern and now may be headed towards the July 23 highs, which came in there 70. Actually, higher than that. Yes, yeah, 71. <clears throat> VST, spectacular chart, long run, big pullback, reversed off support. We can now change the angle to look a little like this now, which tells me this is a stock that should retest one, mid 140s and then get up to 175. And finally, Wave, beautiful base, breakout wedge, popped the wedge a couple days ago. Mine picked up. Um, it's a very thin stock, but it popped 33% <clears throat> today on um, about. 300,000 shares, which is the highest we've seen in months. At this point, I'm looking for a test of lateral price resistance up around 11 and a half, my next target. Let's look at some of the hot stocks at detectrader.com. Good night, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow.